And now for another installment in our historic Milwaukee series. We are taking a look at Trimborn Farm in Greendale and how it's helping to engage students in Milwaukee's history. Milwaukee County's only historic park serves as a hands-on learning experience for Wisconsin students. Trimborn Farm has been around for over a century and a half as the city of Greendale grew around it. Today, people can step back in time just by stepping onto the gravel road off Grange Avenue. It's really a fun experience for them uh, to be out on a farm that's so close to where we live today and, and understand this history. Maine McCulley from the Milwaukee County Historical Society says Trimborn Farm is an important part to Milwaukee's past. It's just a place that holds so much history, a timeline of history, and you can see how this area of Wisconsin evolved. The land was originally acquired by Werner Trimborn, a Prussian immigrant who moved to Wisconsin with his children. One of the Historical Society's star volunteers, Fred Wendorf, showed us around the park. This is the um, Trimborn Farmhouse that was built around uh, 1850. Household items, musical instruments, and furniture. This is uh, Mr. Trimborn's roll-top desk, and it still rolls. All are period appropriate. Kids can even see earlier versions of their favorite toys. They think this is one of the coolest things. <laughs> Outside, four giant kilns. They help make the farm prosperous for decades. From 1850 to like 1860, this place was like a boom town. Used to transform limestone from the quarry across the street into putty and mortar. The kilns were operational 24-7. Up to 40 men worked them at a time. It was just one big circle. Today, a strong workforce keeps the place together for everyone to enjoy. Hardworking volunteers spend their time and energy making sure a Trimborn farm will be around for generations to come. I feel that when I volunteer, I'm making it a part of mm -hmm. us and then I'm, I'm giving something so that we share and we all grow old together. Very nice. Now, a special thanks to assignment editor Mary Franzen who wrote and researched that piece. We have a multi-talented staff around here. Today's Tim J. Four, And, you know, Mary does so much. Yes, she so, does. you know, I have to let you know, I may have voiced it, but she did all the work. She deserves the credit. Well, the big question.